Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be introducing you to the process of creating 3D UI. So having said that, we're going to be showing you how to create a UI component inside of a blueprint actor for you to have floating in 3D space. So an example of where you might want to use this would be in something like a floating health bar. So if you look at my character here, you can see I've got a health bar over the head. It follows you and it's attached. Or if you want to create some kind of cool, you know, just cool UI mechanics uh, like door UI or whatever, anything like that really. But hopefully by the end of tutorial you should be in a place where you know you have the ability to create such mechanics so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my character here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done for this floating uh, player health bar if you have a look at it I've got a widget component and this widget component is essentially just gonna display a widget class for me that widget class is essentially gonna be my health bar I've separated that I've set up all the functionality, but with that widget class, I can essentially just bring it into 3D space and I can position it, you know, whether that's moving up, down, left, right, um, you know, I can rotate it and if I wanted to, I could even, you know, animate the position of it in blueprints. There's loads of cool stuff you can do, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can create this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and we're going to start from scratch. Now, if you don't have a blueprint uh, widget already, just go ahead and create one. If you don't know how to create one, make sure you go ahead and check out my previous UI tutorials. Um, and yeah, this should help you out. Anyway, so to create one, just go to user interface, go to widget blueprint, name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this floating widget for now. Inside of that, I'm just going to chuck anything on there. I'm just going to chuck in an image for now. And that image is going to have, I don't know, anything on there. Uh, let's type in health, see what comes up. Okay, bar. No, okay, I'm just going to chuck in a button. I'm just going to chuck in a big, massive button just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and compile it. If you wanted to, you could set a custom resolution for this widget. So it's not going to be a massive, um, you know, just a massive widget on the screen. There's not going to be much, you know, white space or transparent space. You can do that just by going over to uh, fill screen. Instead of fill screen, just set it to custom. And then with this, zoom in a little bit. Place your object again if you haven't got it. So I'm going to chuck in the button here. Just like that. Scale it down a little bit. And we're going to set the width to whatever you want, really. I'm just going to leave it at this, 100 by 100. And it should also come out as a square inside of the viewport. So press compile and open up whatever blueprint actor you want. It doesn't have to be your player character. It can work with any blueprint, uh, blueprint class. And then you can just chuck in the component. The component that you need to actually get a widget, you know, the widget onto the screen is just called a widget. It does say experimental at the moment if you're using the current version of, uh, version of Unreal that I am. Uh, that just basically means it hasn't been fully tested. Um, but anyway, the functionality is still there. It still looks good and it still works. So just have a little bit of faith. Anyway, so with this fit widget, we can place it in the scene and we can attach it to anything we want. We can move it up, down, left or right. And we've got a few settings that we can play around with. But the most important one is the widget class. If I wanted to, I can set that to floating widget. And then it's going to set it to the widget class for my, uh, you know, my little button that I've made. And you can see it's in my screen here. And that's kind of cool. You've also got something for draw size over here. So if you wanted to, you could set that to whatever you want. If you set a custom resolution inside the widget, I advise you, you know, match it to that and then it won't be offset weirdly like it was a second ago. And now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and move that around and place it anywhere that I wanted. So I'm going to press compile, press play, and you're going to see that that's now actually floating around in 3D space. If you wanted to, you could also set up a blueprint script to actually rotate the, um, you know, you could actually set up a blueprint script to rotate this little widget so it always faces the camera. But, you know, for now you've got it in the scene and, you know, you can do loads of things with it. You can see I can change that to my, I can change that to my cool 
little health bar and everything. It's entirely up to you. Um, it's a br There's so much you can do with it. So just play around with it, do whatever you want. But that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.